Click here where the double chin is at and notice now we can actually begin to move this up. So you want to go ahead and remove a double chin with Adobe Photoshop. Spoiler alert, it's really simple so let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we're going to grab our pen tool. Now we can do that by simply clicking on P on our keyboard or if you're wanting to find it in the toolbar, it's going to be this little icon right here. Now that we have our pen tool selected, let's go ahead and zoom into our subject's face. So we're going to start off here on the left hand side and we're just going to go ahead and make a little point right here. Now we're just going to go ahead and keep following the jawline, but for this next point, I am going to click and hold because if I hold this, it does give me the flexibility to go ahead and move this around to get us a much better selection of the jawline. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep making these points all the way through in order to go ahead and remove that double chin. Now if your selections aren't perfect, don't be afraid. You can fix it because I am totally not happy with this point right here, but if I click it, I can actually go ahead and move it around. I can also go ahead and grab these little anchor points that hang off to the side and notice that I can make adjustments to this. So go ahead and fine tune your adjustments. And sometimes you do have to get pretty close to make sure you have a good selection. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with this. So all we need to do now is just close this off. We're going to just do this by clicking all the way out here. It doesn't have to be anything perfect or too crazy, just as long as you close it out. Because we're going to go ahead and right click inside. We're going to go ahead and select the make a selection. My feather radius, always keep that at five and then just hit OK. Now what I like to do to be on the safe side is I like to come over here to my layers panel and switch it over to path. I like to go ahead and change this name to selection. Now I like to do this because if I ever lose the selection like this, I may not be able to get it back. But if I come over here to path and I highlight the selection, I can come back here and click on this little icon or I can right click like we did earlier and our selection is now back. All right, and for our next step, we're gonna go ahead and actually duplicate this as a layer two times. So we're gonna do that by hitting control J twice. We now have duplicated that as its own layer and it's gonna look something like this. Now let's go ahead and rename these layers just to make it a little bit easier on us. We're going to name this chin above and we're going to name this one chin below. Now we're going to come back up to the chin above layer and what we're going to do is we're going to create a clipping mask. You can either do that by right clicking and then selecting create clipping mask or for me I like my keyboard shortcut so I'm going to hold the alt key on my keyboard and I'm going to click in between both of the layers and I have now created a clipping mask. As for the next step we're going to go ahead and now select our transform tool by hitting control T on our keyboard for the chin above layer and now we're going to right click and we're going to select warp. Now that we have warp selected we're just going to go ahead and click here where the double chin is at and notice now we can actually begin to move this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. There we go, that's looking pretty good. So it did go ahead and mess with the shoulders just a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and fix that. So now hit enter on your keyboard. So in order to go ahead and fix the shoulders, I'm gonna go ahead and create a layer mask on the chin above layer just by clicking on this button right here. Now our layer mask is simply just a white template essentially. So all we need to do is grab our brush tool with the letter B on the keyboard. Make sure that you have the color black selected. The way that I like to remember this is that black conceals and white reveals. So if we begin painting right here in these areas, notice that it is now concealing the wonkiness that we got from the warp tool. All right, and then just continue to clean this up. Click back here on our chin above layer. Make sure to click in this area to get out of the layer mass. We're gonna hold shift, control, alt, and click the letter E. Now, as you can see, that has created a brand new layer. Now that brand new layer is essentially kind of like a merge layer with all of these effects. So here's the fun part. Now on this layer, we're gonna go ahead and click on filter and we're gonna go ahead and click on liquify. So I'm gonna show you two things here that's gonna help us tremendously. First one being this little person icon, it's called the face tool. Now you notice it has all these little lines that are going on within our subject. If I start clicking on these specific areas, different lines pop up. Now, if I click here on the face, I'm actually able to click and drag and notice that I can shrink down the face. So we're also gonna go ahead and do that here with the nose. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. We could even make it a little bit higher or maybe a little bit lower. Now I'm also going to go ahead and click down here because we can also manipulate the jawline a little bit more. Now the next thing I want to show you is going to be this tool that's up here. It's called the forward warp tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a big size and I'm going to come over here to the shoulder and just go ahead and click and push it down a little bit. There we go. And same thing here on this side. And all we're going to do now is just hit OK. And there we go. So again, let me show you the before. And here's the after. So that's officially how you remove a double chin. Now, if you are curious about how to soften skin in Lightroom, make sure to go ahead and check out this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you for the next video.